Hey guys, welcome to my Monday Night Live. Tonight, we are officially going to be flipping or upcycling a guitar. So let me click on the comments here and see who is coming on. Um, as you are jumping on, definitely say hello and where you're from. And let me look here. It does look like I have my first comment. Woohoo! Hey, Kat. So I have been thinking about these guitars for quite some time. And I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with them. And once I saw, oh my. Oh, shoot. oh boy. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. I did not go into airplane mode. <laughs> okay. Um, I am going to mute my phone. All right. Let's try this again. <laughs> um, once I saw the, now, is it Ellie Siam? Um, you guys here. I have a glare. I have a lot of bright lights tonight. So it is the new IOD transfer. And in today's video that I put out on YouTube, I used just a sampling on one sign and I absolutely loved it. And I just chunked off just a, like a top portion of a few of the sprigs. So there's still plenty of transfer available to work with this. So let's see who is all on. Hello, Stephanie. Uh, hello, Robin. Dee's on. Uh, Karen says, give my birthday buddy Lily a cuddle for me. I will. Oh my gosh. She, um, so I posted it on Facebook today. All of a sudden I was sitting there. My husband texted me and he's like, oh my gosh, it's Lily's birthday. She's 12. And uh, if you guys have been following along for a little bit, there's been some ups and downs with Lily. She is doing really good right now. We have her on, she's got really bad arthritis, but we have her on some pain meds um, and she's doing great. And we have her on glucose chondritin. So since we put her on that, she is acting uh, like a spring chicken. So <laughs> fingers crossed. We, I, you know, we definitely want to make her as comfortable as possible. So yes, it is her birthday. Thank you. And I will give her a big hug and lots of cuddles. She's been by me all day. So um, let's see here. Marty says, hello from San, San Antonio, Texas. Hey, Alyssa. Uh, hi from rainy Massachusetts. Oh, no. Um, that's not good. Uh, actually, we I feel like are in a drought here in Wisconsin. So... Um, all right. So my vision for this is, I actually have been thinking about this all day. I ended up getting this for a dollar at the bins and it is just a vintage hymnal. Um, so my vision is on the guitar. I thought we could put the hymnal here on the side paint the front, add some of the transfers to the front overlap. I'm trying to figure out maybe paint the back too. I'm not really sure. So let's chat about that. I am going to switch cameras here. Let's see here if I can. Okay. There. So you guys can still see me. And then um, we have the guitar. So here is the color palette that we are working with this evening. And I love this. So I don't want to do anything too, too dark. And the reason I say that is because if you look, I'm going to try to get it up to the camera without having a lot of glare. There's actually... Um, I believe it's almost from the Le Courier, possibly. It reminds me of that, the Le Courier in the background. So let me, there's a little bit here and some right in here. 
Let me see. Maybe it does say Le Courier and I don't even know it. See, and it has the two stamps like the Le Courier, but it does not say it. So I have the Le Courier stamp too right there. Okay, um, <laughs> maybe you should tell me if this is a good brand guitar before I start flipping it. It actually sounds beautiful, I thought. Um, it is called uh, Maestro, or wait, M-A-E-S-T, Maestro? Maybe it is a Maestro. Uh, so it's got a serial number, it's got a model number. So let's chat a little bit before I start doing anything. Uh, let's see here. Because... Uh, Elissa had lots of question marks afterwards, so I don't want to, let's see here. I don't want to do something that I probably shouldn't be doing. Uh, let's see. I'm just looking uh, to see if there's any comments from, oh, okay. I thought it was a Martin. Okay. It is not a Martin, but it sounds beautiful, you guys. Uh, did you look up the name? I did not. And my phone is up there. Um, so I, you guys, I paid like, okay, I'm weighing, I'm weighing this. I paid a dollar something probably for it. Let's say the most two bucks. So there's two of them because they weigh it by the pound. But I'm like, how I should actually have weighed it and told you exactly how much I paid. Hey, Tracy. Hello, Susan. Um, driving home and watching in the truck. Oh, nice. Hey, Deb. <coughs> All right. I'm getting a tickle. And let me grab some water. All right. Well, I think we're going to just roll with it. So let's talk color. Um, somebody had mentioned uh, cowgirl coral. There is coral here. Uh, today I used, what did I, I'm trying to think. Okay. So I used skeleton key on the sign I made and I would grab it, but guess what? It is out in my studio and I am in, uh, my shipping and receiving area. So I used skeleton key, um, earlier today on the sign. So I don't think we should use anything green. I do, I did grab white swan because I was going to paint, um, when I paint, when we do this on the side, let me, oh, okay. So Robin said, <laughs> this makes me feel so much better, you guys. Um, Robin said, my husband is a music musician and he said, BBN is a, is a, it is cheap. BBN, it is cheap. Okay, good, good. Okay, not a high value guitar. You're good. Okay, great, guys. I am so glad to hear that I am not like <laughs> ru ruining something because we don't want um, what happened to. I ended up finding this really cool basket and I upcycled it. And after I did everything to it, I found out it was kind of valuable. So, um, okay. I'm just going with this to, so I'm thinking like this on the side, I'm going to cut off some of this writing on the top and the bottom and just kind of line it up. What do you guys think about that? And I think I, well, I don't even know if I need to put white underneath because it's not really like thin, like the decoupage paper. Here. So that is what my vision is there. Oh, Robin says, it is like a Kmart guitar. So if you guys remember what Kmart is, that is good. I'm glad that it's nothing very valuable. <laughs> Perfect. I am rolling with it. Okay, so Tracy says she likes the music sheet on the side. When it gets wet, it will get darker. Oh, good point. Yes, and... Maybe we should do white on the side just to be on the safe side. So let's start there. And while I'm doing the white on the side, we can chat about 
the front. So let's let me grab. All right. I just washed that. Let's see. All right. I am just so glad to know that I'm not ruining something worth a fortune or something like that. Okay, guys. So maybe white. Okay, so I am going to put this here. Let me try to get it closer to you guys so you guys can see. This is the pattern that we're going to be working with. So we're going to, um, I'm, that's going to be kind of like one of the last things that we put on because I want to get the paper on the side and then after the paper's on, then I'm going to kind of like overflow over to the side some of the transfer. So that's kind of my vision. I've been thinking about it and I just was like, that would look so cool. So, all right. Okay, so don't know where the BBM came from, LOL. That's okay. I, I oops, here I'm playing music, guys. Um, I thought you knew something I didn't know about the name brand. <laughs> Okay, so a lot of people are saying either cowgirl coral or cake batter. Cake batter, it will take several coats of paint for the cake batter. So you guys will be watching me paint um, a lot tonight. <laughs> and just so you guys know as well, I also um wash this cleaned it very thoroughly before i'm painting it because i've had um someone say that in my video i didn't show my me cleaning the item so i just want to make sure that who's ever watching this knows that i did wash it and i will even show here's the rag to prove it <laughs> so Washed it all up so that it, it's all nice and clean. You went to, it was over by my saw and it had some sawdust on it. Oh, Karen says, you already have me wanting to find my childhood guitar. Oh, that's a really great idea too. Uh, Elissa says, I'm liking Monet's garden. I just wonder if it will, the darker green, I wish that there wasn't such dark greens in here. Because I want that to really pop. But Monet's garden would be very pretty as well. Yes, that's a great idea. All right. What did you wash it with? I washed it with soapy water, like soapy. I washed it and then I wiped it down. What about one of the new cottage colors? Oh, that's a good idea. Um, what do I have in here? So the colors I have in here, I will have to run out in the kitchen because I just brought them in. So a color that I used today which was Blue Hills, I have that. And then I have crockery in here, but we could, oh my gosh, you know what would look beautiful? The Americana, Went all oh, you guys, what do you think? Um, I, let's see here. Okay, you guys think about that. I think um, the Americana might look absolutely gorgeous on it. I can go grab it. I will be missing for a second. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, Joan goes uh, here. Hi, sounded awesome. You figured out how to use the two screens. Love it. 
I am learning, definitely learning, guys. So, uh, but yes, I love it. I, I wish I could, would have been doing this much sooner. Um, but yes, I just don't want to get paint on. All right, so I just wanted to get this started on the sides and then that way it can be drying and then we'll start tackling the top or like the front. Okay, so Susan says she likes Americana. Elissa likes Americana. Who else is gonna be a fan? All right, hold on guys. I'm trying to do a detail work. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go run and grab Americana as soon as I get done with this. Okay, D likes Americana too, good. Yes. All right. Okay, so, oh, I didn't get one little chunk right here. Okay. All right. So I am going to be right back. I am going to grab Americana. What color is Americana? Uh, it is like a, it is the color of the uh, Easter Egger chicken. It's kind of like a blue green. I'm going to go grab it and I'll open it up. So I'll be right back. Sorry guys. I wasn't, I wasn't prepared. But I knew exactly right where it was, so I kind of was prepared. I just brought them all in from the garage when I had been, um, outside doing my, my, my lounge chair. Someone said I pronounced it wrong. Chase lounge. I can't remember what she even said I had to say it like. So here it is. It's kind of like, and I, th oh, it would look really good with that. Okay. I like it. I like it. All right. We're going to use one of these because don't want to use my good paint brushes with the cottage colors. Hi, Lisa. She says, hi from Haley, Idaho. Uh, like Americana. Also just watched your video. Great job. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. I'm doing it guys. I'm just, I'm rolling with it. <laughs> so now the, um, the cottage colors do have a sealer built right in. So there's no need to seal your project. And I may have to do two coats. Oh, I'm already loving this, you guys. Whoever said the cottage colors, I, I can't remember. <laughs> Great idea. Definitely want to give a shout out. All right, I am concentrating because I'm doing a cutting in line. Kind of want to leave that as is. Hey, Anne. Oh, it was D, I think. D, she goes, You're welcome. I'm assuming it was D that came up with that idea. I love it. So, what did you guys all do last? Oh gosh, no, I touched it. <laughs> I did so good. I did so good here. I can also take, I just touched a little bit. Um, so what did you guys all do when I, in my absence, when I was gone? 
Um, cause I was up north vacationing up in the north woods of Wisconsin. Did you guys have a good 4th of July? I hope so. Yep, Stephanie says, great call, D. I agree. The only thing I'm worried about is how I'm going to get in here. <laughs> That's the only thing. I am going to have to finesse that, I think. Uh, Anne says she went to the Oshkosh Garden Walk yesterday. Ooh, I didn't even know that um, Oshkosh had a garden walk. That's awesome. I miss that they. I miss the Appleton Garden Walk. <clears throat> and why did they ever get rid of the uh, garden walk? Is there a reason? Because I think it was like a big. Um, I wouldn't say a huge money maker, but I think it was for something, wasn't it? All right. Okay. I just touched that. Got that was wet. So we're gonna turn it. Just poked myself. Be very careful, you guys. There are pokey things like it's right here. <laughs> Um, okay, so the Homeless Connection decided to stop doing it. The Homeless Connection, it was like a, I think it was a way for them to make some money. So that's too bad. So I was on the um, Appleton Garden Walk twice. And my yard was featured. Very exciting. Lots of work, but it's super fun and for a really, like, I always thought it was a really good cause. Okay. Okay, more detail work now. God, I touched the side again. At, are, are you planning on keeping the strings on the guitar? Okay. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I looked at this, these strings, you guys, and like all this mechanism here, and I got nervous, I'll be honest. And I'm like, I can paint around it until, like, do you think I can get in here? I think I'm going to leave them on. What do you, what, oh, here I touched the strings now. Darn it. Um... All right. Okay, so I got about half done. One, two, three. Yeah, I got about halfway. I think I can get underneath it. Then I wouldn't feel bad about um, leaving it on as long as I can do a fairly straight line there. What do you guys think? Keep it on or take, I mean, take them off. Looking at the guitar, I, I have a smaller version would be cute as a birdhouse in your gardens. I actually saw that, you guys. Um, I saw it. I I do a lot of late night browsing on Pinterest, and somebody had actually used a guitar as a birdhouse on Pinterest. It was like a pit. It was a post or whatever. I really need to start like pinning some of this stuff because sometimes I see stuff and then. I'm just looking, you know, to basically try to go to sleep. Oh my gosh, I touched it again, you guys. Maybe I'm going to have to take this off. I'll grab some paper towel. Should have had this right away. I just don't want I'm trying to read comments. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, everybody says keep on. I think I'm gonna keep them on. Yeah, I think they look good. All right, just have to be a little bit more detailed. Oh, um, okay. 
That side is officially done. Nindy says, I. Okay. Sorry, guys. I hit a wrong button. <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh, no audio. Okay. Speech to text. I just lost the volume. I can't hear. Can you hear now? You guys, I'm back. I literally hit a button. All of a sudden, I looked up and I'm like, what, what button did I hit? I have my mouse here, my wireless mouse. Okay. All right, guys. I am so sorry. Oh, I started sweating. <laughs> And now Lily's in here. Hey, Lily. Oh, okay. <laughs> we had a good laugh. We had a good laugh, guys. All right. Well, I'm so glad you guys are like up to, to speed, though. When I lose sound, you guys are right on it. Okay, I'm going to... All right, let me get that. Okay, I just have to do a little bit right there. And I think that will be good. The one nice thing too about this paint that I noticed is that it dries fairly quick, which is a good thing. But we'll see, we'll see how much I get done tonight. Let's, let's just say that. We'll see how much I get done tonight. I have this allotted for two nights, but I was hoping to do two guitars, like one tonight, one tomorrow, but we'll see. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Oh, Melissa says, happy birthday, Lily. Thank you. Oh, Beth says she thought she did something wrong. No, it was me. I hit a wrong button. <laughs> Just like, thank goodness. And all the volume come, goes out of my computer. So that's why you guys lost sound. Okay. All right. I'm going to finish this up and then we can. All right. Oh, I like it. I like it. Hey Ruth, that's thanks for joining us. Oh, <laughs> Joan says, Shh, don't anyone talk while she paints under the string. She has to concentrate. I did, I did. I had to stop talking and like I had to have a steady hand, you guys. So, all right. So this is how far we got in about a half hour. So we got the sides painted white. We've decided we are going to put this on the sides. And I don't know how long this is going to take to dry. I am going to grab my, my is it plugged in? It is not even plugged in. All right. I'm like, why is it way over here? Why is it way over here? Normally I am stretching to get it. I am going to plug this in. Let me grab that. I have been gone for a few days and I unplugged a whole bunch of stuff just because I always get nervous. Um, I don't know if you guys get that way too. Like, what if something would happen and it would turn on? <laughs> so I unplugged it when I left because I don't want anything bad. I don't want my house burning down. All right. So let's, this will be coat one. 
So yeah, that's the side, and then this is the top. He says it looks so good. I agree. I think it looks so good. I'm so glad we went with Americana. All right. Yeah, so I'm going to just kind of hold this up over. Well, I don't know if the lighting is kind of distorting, and I think it's going to look awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm super excited. Super duper excited. Penny says, loving it. I am too. Oh gosh. I feel so bad that I knocked our sound out before. If something like that wouldn't happen, it wouldn't be fun, right? <laughs> All right, I'm just trying to speed this up so we can keep on going. Right. Oh gosh, I hit something else now. It's this little wireless mouse. Oh, you guys, this looks so good. So good. Let's set this somewhere where it doesn't start a fire. Oh my gosh, you guys, that gets so hot. You guys have one of those at home. You know what I'm talking about. It gets super duper hot. So hot indeed that I have burned my fingers a couple times just by accident. Oh, it wasn't out that long. I know, I know, thank God, because I figured out what was going on and I quick hit some buttons. I'm getting way better at this. Just think if it would have been my first live. I don't know if many of you are still, like, followed me since I did my first live. I was literally terrified to go live, but I just did it. I ripped the Band-Aid off and I just did it. And... I'm so glad I did because now I have so much fun with you guys. So, oh, Mary Ellen says, I thought you were just concentrating. <laughs> I love it. Uh, all right. So let's see here. I'm going to just show you. Oh, this is still a little wet. Of course, the only spot that's wet on the bottom, I touch. All right. So you can see the, this is the first coat. It definitely needs a second coat. But the one thing that I discovered with the cottage colors is that you do want it to be completely dry before you do the second coat because you can then pull it up. So when I painted um, those Crocs, I'm always like trying to, I do, when I do my five projects, I always like set one aside and then I go to the next one and I start that one. And, and by the time I get back, I want it to be dry and sometimes it's not and then i give it a little zap and i think it's good to go and so i learned the hard way that all of it was pretty much dry except one little spot so that is how i found that out but it still turned out great let's see here um stephanie says i re our kitchen sink this morning awesome I uh, was working on that video all day. So my daughter had softball all weekend and we were at a softball tournament. Okay, so let's talk about the backside. So I think pretty much, oh, look at I got a little bit.
bit of white on the back here. All right, what do you guys think we should, should I paint the back the blue too? I think so. Or the, when I say blue, of uh, the Americana, should I paint it Americana too? So, all right. So let's hear what, what views you guys have about the backside. I think we should do Americana. What does everybody think? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's do it. Let's get this painted while the front is still drying. And it's not sitting on the front, it's sitting on the strings, which is really nice. And I'm gonna mix this up. Okay, so everybody says yes. Americana, so we're gonna do that, awesome. So last night after I ended up getting home from the softball tournament, I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm going to start my video. And I was brainstorming at the tournament, trying to figure out what to do for the video. And I knew I wanted to do, um, you know, the thrift to treasure and then the five of them. And I knew that I wanted to use some of my new finds, but I was trying to figure out what, what to do. And then I got home and I was tired, you know, in the sun all weekend and the heat. My, my husband's like, just come and sit down, relax. And so I did. And today it all came together. Uh, Ruth said, I might have missed on another broadcast. How did the denim jackets with the paint inlays wash? So they didn't wash the best guys. Um, the the uh, one that I used with, so the, the white one with the liquid patina definitely washed way better than the uh, Mod Podge one but it definitely did not, it was so pretty and it isn't. So someone suggested that I use a fabric. There's some other type of fabric medium. I can't, I wrote it down and I have, it's not in here. So um, I'm gonna try that because I'm not giving up because I love the thought and idea of doing the paint inlays on fabric. And I think that you can paint on fabric. So I think I'm gonna try to use that other, that other medium. And um, she said, I think you can get it at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby, I think is what they were saying. So it's by the fabric section. But I was really sad. I heat set it, but someone also mentioned that I probably should have used like a heat press that, um, cause I, I just throw them in the dryer and I thought that the dryer got them warm enough and they thought that it didn't, that the dryer wouldn't have been hot enough. So, um, uh, let's see here. Stephanie said, I started storing my paint and polyurethane upside down and it helps, it keeps the need for stirring to a bare minimum if needed at all, or even oil-based. Oh, good idea. The one thing I noticed about this paint um, is that yes, you do need to stir it. That's what I noticed here. Penny says, I'm so jealous of your painting skills. I really struggle with it. Oh, well, thanks. Um, yeah, so I have always loved to paint. <laughs> I have a, plus I'm very changeable, like with my wall colors. And I have actually painted our walls so many times in this house. My husband said, I think we're, gonna lo we're losing square footage because you painted the wall so many times. But oh, no way. So 
it was he was joking but it was kind of funny all right d says yes fabric medium at michael's near the craft paint um or the t-shirts turns any paint into a fabric paint oh that's good to know um Okay, so Ruth says, dang, it is called Fabric Medium. I found Deco Arts brand at Joann's in the craft paint area. Okay. Nancy says, darn, I'm late. That's okay. Oh, Andrea. <laughs> she goes, oh my gosh, my husband used to say the same thing. Ha ha ha. Yes. Because I do, I love painting and I like to change the colors. So sometimes, yeah, you know, I like to have a focal wall. And then sometimes I like, I remember I, oh gosh, I painted a wall red. I can't even believe I did that now looking back is, but then, then I went light and yeah, I went all over. So it's all good. Stephanie says a lot of flippers that she follows are storing their paints like that. And it was in um, and she was blown away. That's awesome. Oh, Jeannie, thanks for the tip. Jeannie says, I have heard to I have heard not to use fabric softener on any clothes or fabrics if you are going to paint on it because it won't stand, maybe try that. I did actually use a fabric softener. It's just like habit. I pour some soap in and a little fabric softener in. So maybe that's what did it. All right, Dee said that she used to do shirts in the eighties and it worked great. Awesome, good to know. Hey Lisa. All right. Oh gosh, you guys. I was so nervous at first. Like tonight, I'm like, okay, hope this is going to turn out. I'm loving it. Oh, Stephanie, she's so sweet. She says, please don't forget to hit that like button. Woohoo! Yes. out so so pretty you guys I think if I get one more so if I get this partially dry or dry enough I can then turn it on the side and I can start painting another coat of the white so you guys can see I have a fingerprint there <laughs> Oh, sonnet. All right. That is. Okay. So here's the second coat. And then after this dries, then we can put on the paper. Oh, I'm liking this so much. Oh, D says, instead of fabric softener, use white vinegar. That's a good idea. Thanks for the tip. Okay, I'm going to move that. I wonder if I, well, no, I don't want to paint that. I'm going to touch this up once. Once I, once I get the papers on, I'll touch that up. It's one thing I love DIY paint that it doesn't harden until you seal it. So like right there where my straight line is not perfect, I can definitely 
go in and make it way better. So I should tell you guys, since you're all watching tonight, tomorrow, um, where I have my booth over at uh, the Yield Goat, so it's the Yield Goat on Facebook, um, the owner unfortunately does a live every Tuesday, and she had something come up. And she asked me to do her live tomorrow. So I am doing the live tomorrow over at the Yield Goat. And any of you want to join me. So what I'm doing is I will be showcasing some booths over at the Goat. And show off what they have in their booth and talk about them. And then you guys can see what the booths look like and hang out with me for a bonus. Okay, let's see here. Where is the like button? Not a fingerprint artist's signature. Not a finger. Oh, <laughs> oh, not a fingerprint. It's an artist signature. I'm like, what? Okay, I got it now. Oh, that's funny. Yes, yes, that's right. An artist signature. Oh, that's awesome. Um, exit the chat, and the screen should be right there. Like to like the show. Oh, awesome. Uh, and says, oh, I watch them all the time. Maybe you will bring me good luck and I will win a gift card. Oh gosh, I get to give away a gift card? That's awesome. Maybe. So join the show, you guys. What are, I, I think there has, Anne, tell me, there has to be so many people, well, I do think I know that she gives away a gift card. So, so many people have to be watching in order for the gift card to be given away, right? Yes, if you meet the goal of viewers. Okay, good to know. Good to know. So, how many viewers is that? I can't, I mean, I'll probably find out tomorrow. What's the channel called? And you give to share and like her page. Uh, so it is called the Ye Old Goat. So Y E Old O L D and then Goat. So that's where I'll be live tomorrow at nine o'clock, nine um, to roughly like between nine and 10. It starts at nine. Yep. So um, the tone goes, what time at the goat? Um, so it's 9 a.m. Central Standard Time at the goat. So I'd love it um, if you guys said hello. I don't think I'll have a screen with me. <laughs> I hope not. Since I am talking about everybody's booth, so. But I am featuring my mother's booth tomorrow. So you guys will be able to see her booth. Super excited. She has some of the coolest things in there. So you guys will be able to check that out. Um, Okay, so Anne says, so everyone, if you watch, share the live and like the page. Okay. <laughs> Anne has it down to a science. And then they give away, apparently, a gift card. Oh gosh, you guys, the painting part took so long tonight again. Let's see. I just wanted this to be dry. All right. 
Let's, the back is not completely dry. Oh, <laughs> I paint the back of the neck of the guitar. Oh, you would paint this? What about around these things, though? Oh, you guys can't see here. Let me. I think it might get difficult to paint around all those. I, I'm going to have to be a really good painter to get around those. Um, not that I want to create more work. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, yeah. Oh, and there's these. Well, <coughs> that might be a good idea. That might be a really good idea, actually. Well, I do not think we're going to get through a whole lot more tonight, but we will regroup on Wednesday. And even if we, um, uh, I do have two guitars, so we can do one this way and then we can do one totally different. So the other thought when I was coming up with ideas was to use like on the back, like a decoupage paper um, and do something else on the front. So, um, but yeah, so there was so many thoughts. So because I have another entire guitar, we can do something totally different, but let's work on this one. And like I said, I want to wait till this completely dries. So by Wednesday morning at 10 o'clock, we'll go live again. I will have everything completely painted and up to par so that uh, we can work on decoupaging the vintage hymnal pages along the edges. So that will be good. I don't know how I'm going to. So on the bottom, I'm just going to show you guys, there's this little button. So I'm going to have to try to figure out how to maybe, maybe I'll start there or like cut, a, like figure out where and kind of cut a hole around it and then jimmy it up and then figure it out that way. But all right, I am going to get rid of this view and then just go on. There, there, I'm back, I'm back. Okay, so let's see here. No other comments. I think we're good there. All right, so how do you guys feel about the project so far? I'm loving it. I think it's looking great. And I'm glad that we do not have an expensive guitar. I'm glad that it's like a Kmart brand. Uh, but I think it's looking super great um, as, as far as we've gotten. Oh. So, yes, we got two coats there. We got one coat on the front, one coat on the back. So we just need to get another coat on the one side. And then I want, I'll do another coat on the front and another coat on the back. And so then on Wednesday at 10 o'clock, I have the event already created out there. We will go to town and get doing the rest. Uh, Stephanie says she loves the base colors. I do too. Great idea, D for the cottage colors. I love it. I think uh, this is going to look so good. And then I definitely on the back, I want to put um, the Le Courier. Oh, there's a glare. Okay. So the Le Courier, that part, I want to put it somehow on the back too. So we will figure that out on Wednesday. So, all right, looks great. Um, love the base colors, love it, and lots of hearts. Awesome. All right, well, that is, I think, a wrap for the evening. And if you haven't yet, go out and watch my YouTube or YouTube video. Um, like I said, I went thrifting on Friday after I came back from vacation. 
I was pretty like you would think I'd be totally rejuvenated after vacation, <laughs> but I, I was to a point, but it was a lot of eating, swimming, you know, always doing something. It was very, it was a lot going on. So I decided I was going to go thrifting. And so I found some really great stuff. I thrifted or I flipped five items today and, um, guys, Friday's video, all I'm going to say, I kind of snuck in a little thing for my video, but Friday's video, a bunch of DIY retailers are all getting uh, together and doing videos on how, like it's an eight ounce challenge. So I'm super excited about that. So watch for that video on Friday. And um, so yeah, we'll see you guys Wednesday and you guys have a great night and thanks for joining me. Bye.